All right, everybody, we are unmuted after a very long, we'll uh, be, you know, waiting screen. So. Yeah. All yeah. right. Everybody back with Lost Seas. I got y'all on one map and I am on a different one. Yeah. Sorry, Holy Winds. Yeah, there we go. Hewitt is looking at all the wrong crap on this computer. Anyway, did y'all's map change? Ooh, That's what? a map. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, last last session, y'all y'all made a new friend who had two other friends. It was Jelly Boy. They're, they're all Jelly Boy. Y'all got him drunk. Tarl, Tarl got a large chunk of the party drunk. Um, one of the Jelly Boys just hums constantly like a like an old busted refrigerator. And one is a very energetic. But y'all had defeated the uh, the starved false Hydra, and uh, found again found a signet ring for someone named Moulet Bright Gloom. Found uh, something signed inside of a magical tome. And y'all are still on a mission to figure out what's up with that priest. The stalt was going to take us to where he thought he saw him. I know exactly where that was. It was in that place where I all... Where I exactly know where it's at. So, uh, if y'all are leaving, y'all be leaving out of the north end of town and continuing up Mount Caramel that y'all named that. You mean Mount Caramel? Yeah. That that Mount Caramel? Yeah, Caramel. Someone wrote that at the top of the map, so I was like, okay. We had a theme when we named this continent. <laughs> yeah, y'all just went Waco on everything. <laughs> the hell's wrong with all y'all? I mean, yeah, I think. I, I, know I thought you. I thought you wanted to play D and D, dude. We're gonna be here way too long <laughs> if we go into that. <laughs> All right, so, does Peregrine need to do, uh, or Peregrine need to do survivals? Well, I'll say this. It's not going to be something, Peregrine, that you can just uh, Peregrine express them. Cause you I was should... mostly just going to Peregrine express the super drunk people to start with. Because uh, I figured we probably have too many now for her to probably do everything. So they, more they, just... Some of them might just need to be tossed over your back because it starts getting rockier. It, it's not like ah. the lower areas where there's the uh, the big snow-filled plains. So it's easy just to drag everybody. We found you uh, did, you did sleds. Find, you did find a sled. So you you toss, or made or found and made something. Okay, so you toss your. Who are the drunkest we members? We it. I just remember. I don't think I was like drunk, drunk, but I would. I think I had like a negative one or a negative two. Like general to like physical attributes or something i think it was literally everybody except tarl and me uh was a 13 was that enough i took one itty bitty tiny bite yeah and it gave you kevin i think you had yeah. the negative one no i didn't i think yeah you did because you were very incensed that you did I, I remember say, you getting pissed because you're like, I just took a sip, but you still failed. <laughs> oh, I ate a piece of an egg, like, and you failed. I'm, <laughs> I'm still in sense then. Fuck this game. I quit. <laughs> I didn't drink it, and uh, uh, eat it. Dreyfus I got forgot a, it was technically food. Eat, so but yeah, Dreyfus got a Dreyfus. twenty. I didn't to eat anything. So and Peregrine didn't either, and uh, I think that literally was it. And Tarl. So the four of us, I think, were the only that weren't affected. You know what, Malak? I'll be nice. You're buzzed, but you're not drunk. You, you feel it in your teeth. I don't want to be drunk. I don't like the cold. Well, then, eat, do nothing. then, then eat more oh. eggs. 
<laughs> no, that sounds like the worst thing. You gotta warm yourself up. It actually doesn't really warm you up. It makes your blood thinner, makes you colder. It makes you think you're warmer, though. It makes you think you can do anything. Uh, Peregrine is... will just throw an extra blanket on Mulak since he's bitching about the cold. I'm on well, my I say blanket is like a fur. She still throws it on you. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. You now look like a witch. As Aspic is just doing a little whirling dervish type dance. And I am um, holding myself together a little bit. I'll collect the ones that seem like they're struggling the most and help them into the sled to at least get started out on the day. All right, so everybody, everybody roll me a survival a check. Because I got to go find Dreyfus' character sheet. Do I need to strap people into this thing to make sure they don't go flying? <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm Damn, a... Tarl, nice. Tarl out Tarl's here. Late. Tarl's in his element. Mulak is not in his element. Mularn is somehow in his element. Yeah, and that element is ignoring everything and 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 writing furiously. Okay, fifteen. Mularn is the level of super drunk where he just feels no pain. Tarl is like fueled by the the drunken, but like handled it past the check. It just fueled him, and then Mulak is just still incensed. <laughs> so it all averages out to where you know you're not failing your survival check. You're not losing time. You're not losing people. You're able to keep making it further up the mountain. Uh, Gestalt, give me a history check to see if you remember something. I'm going to try to remember something. With a 14, you think you remember seeing a high elf individual duck into one of the larger caves. Probably not too far from here. So it's a larger cave, not too far from here. Hmm. I think he might be around here somewhere. Or was around here. Potentially. Like what type of thing? Well, it's a, uh, uh, I think he went into a, the person went into a cave. Or, like, did oh. I see them go into a cave, or did I just... You think, you know that there's, you think you saw them go into one of the bigger caves around here, but, again, you, you try to avoid things. Also, again, you were kind of weirded out that you know there was a bunch of footprints with this individual, and now they're just by themselves. And something in your brain was not computing correctly. And probably one of the bigger caves. I'm sorry, I can't exactly remember which cave it is. I know it's a big one, though. It, it's one of those big caves that leads down into, like, you know, the, the winding paths and such. It's the one that, uh, what is it? Uh, Kentucky has to legally recognize as a cave because it goes <laughs> back 120 feet, at least. DM, would Peregrine have landed on Oblette before making it to Stout Elb, or would she have just gone no, straight to Stout no, Elb from the Ice Heart? Uh, from Ice Heart, you would have landed in Cod, which is okay. that, like, you, all you've ever heard about this place is it's bad, and that the uh, that the uh, the Elfim Theocracy has left it alone. Okay. Can I, could she try to roll a survival based on her knowledge of just like snowy mountainous regions to see if maybe she can get a general idea of where in a mountain a cave would form Totes. to help guide? i uh, probably explain that poorly, but. No, no. Well, like, <laughs> rolling, a, rolling a 30 and then I rolling I diplomatize the rock. <laughs> Just all of a sudden, I asked the mountains a, where it double, is. That is a double 30. <laughs> the rock biter comes out and is like, this way. He walked the the Earth Ganassi side ass. of her that, yeah, the Earth Ganassi side that never really matters because we mostly rely on the Goliath. The Earth Ganassi literally comes out for this role. <laughs> all right, so yeah, that, that is a nat 20 for a 30. 
And even if you had disadvantage, the other one is still a 30. Nat 20, 30. Um, you very quickly, Peregrine, like, you, you hold a hand up and do this, like, kind of odd, like, if anyone else looks at it, it's like, kind of like when they're, like, figuring out the stars in Moana, but you're actually, like, doing trigonometry in your head from the peak of the mountain to, like, down to your thumb, like, all right, about right there. And as the snow starts to slack a little bit, you can see right where you're exactly pointing, there is a cave entrance. Yay! I did good at the thing that she's good at. Yay! <laughs> I will even say this because it is an at 20. You, you can also see the best path to get there quickly. Dope. As we get closer, she'll point it out once it's kind of in better visual range uh, and and ask uh, Gestalt, is that right? Yeah. Uh, she'll ask Gestalt, uh, is this it up here? It it kind of looks like what you were describing. Does it seem familiar? Uh, does it look like uh, what I remember? Yeah. DM? Yeah. I mean, there's, yes. there's, there's a bunch of other smaller caves. Uh, you might have even taken shelter in one of the smaller caves before. But... This is definitely the cave. It looks legal. And by legal, I mean it's at least 120 feet in depth. Oh no! <laughs> did... Topher, where, where where did you get this? I've been in... reading a lot of fucking cave stories. Okay, like the Is that the caver. Like the... I, like, I've been reading about our. I've been listening to. Uh caving stories especially what is it the, the horror cave stories or like the is there a podcast for that a little bit of a little bit of b uh so just i was listening to the guy that got stuck in a cave and then they turned him into a spectacle and like they were trying to get down to him and they're the like, one with the broken leg stuff and all that yeah and yeah, then yeah, that was really rough because they he just dies and then, you know, they just put his body on display. Oh, I'm thinking of a different one. I'm oh, no, thinking no, of the no, putty no. cave. The, the the one that she Oh, nutty putty. No, that is that's even worse than the one I was thinking. Of. I, I have not yeah. heard I've heard of but not heard that one, the one you're talking about. They had that on uh Graveyard Tales and I think it's also on one of This is why we drink. That uh, oh no, I haven't gotten to that episode yet. If it's on that as well, we or that's why we drink. But, I, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm I went down a uh, like twenty though. I went down a caving rabbit hole and then just saw like info channels of like cave divers, and they're like, "Yeah, this is what a cave needs to be in order to be recognized in the state of Kentucky." And I'm like, "That's interesting." It's definitely one of those black holes of the internet where it's like you just really have so much stuff to read about. I'm sorry, DM. You're oh, no, no, it's, it, no, no, no. It's it's perfectly fine because I will say this. Caves are kind of cool to me. The second the cave has water in it, I am done with that cave 100% and I'm not going back near it. All the things I've read, I, I am cool with caves. I am 6'4". I do not want to be inside the cave, especially yeah. with claustrophobia. Caves freaked yeah, me out, and yeah, we did have claustrophobia, do... but being almost six five, I'm with you on that. Yeah, I saw yeah. videos of people like you know they take the camera into the cave and seeing what they do to get to like different chambers. I'm like, no, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. I, I'm a... have fun, have fun, homie. I'm out. I, I'm I'm too thick of a boy, but also, um, I do not like being in water that has a roof above it. As somebody who has gone scuba diving and we went through a tunnel that was based on a cave, it is a like it like it when I say cave, it was a coral head that like didn't completely solidify, but you know, those big old plate corals that come out like kind of in those big shelves. Yeah. Imagine overlapping shelves for like twenty feet over you. So there's no sunlight, oh, there's no path up. That's gotta be was scary. interesting, would not do again, and yeah, would definitely no. never cave also, dive. Also, Hewitt, mm -hmm. are you saying you wouldn't be in an indoor pool? Uh, okay. He, he can see his feet. Okay, here's the deal. What if the if lights he can are see off? His, he can see his feet, he's good. If indoor, not, no. Indoor pool, but the lights are off. <laughs> okay, um, it depends on the situation. If I intent intentionally got into that pool... Probably not a problem. If I found the pool unintentionally, 
probably not. But like, uh, like the back rooms don't fuck me up until the people start like doing the CGI of the the water levels of the back. I was room. literally gonna ask you. Okay, if it was the so pool it's like context. Room. Like it, it's like if you see a staircase in the woods. Yeah, like you don't, staircases you don't, you don't isn't do like you yeah, don't, no. you don't you don't fucking do that. You don't nope. go you don't go near mushroom circles. You don't go up a goddamn staircase or ladder you find randomly in the woods. Why not? I do not want to have a whole thing you can read. I do not want to have to. I do not want to have to make myself so much of a nuisance for some type of supernatural creature that they return me out of sheer annoyance and aggravation. I do not want to have to at world's end a supernatural creature so that I can or 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 have to call and get a favor from Doc. That is the worst outcome. I I will choose death. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> so, uh, y'all start making your way towards the cave. It, it takes y'all maybe about another 30 yep. minutes of steady climbing. And uh, it's, I mean, Peregrine finds the best path. It just means that you're not having to climb like a sheer rock face. It is, it won't require enough. We didn't have the Skyrim horse straight up a vertical surface to get there. No, you did not. <laughs> we have actually to- found the path. <laughs> You didn't have to uh, sit there like on Morrowind and jump for three hours until you can leap over buildings. I didn't. Yeah, the, we found the best path. The best path ain't great. Exactly. But it's you make... pretty comfortable though, guys. Like, what are you so wore out for? Says Mister Riding on his broom. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he's got that. You basically forced me to buy it. Yes, but (laughs) do you not remember not too long ago, Knox going, I will give him a bottle of the good shit. My response is, what is that? Knox goes, I don't know. And I go, I don't either. I gave that to you like (laughs) like two years ago. Anyway, so y'all make it to the mouth of the cave. It's, It's a large opening. Uh, everybody give me perception. Tarl, you have advantage because of stone cunning. Looking for my sheet. Nope. nope. Wow. Uh, ice is starting to form over your, your jiggly bits there, Gestalt. Making that it. doesn't come out right. Uh, okay. Your eyes that are recessed into your jelly are having to look through the slightly icy windshield of your front face. Is that better? Yeah, that's good. All right. Look with your special. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Malak, uh, you're not going to notice. Peregrine, you're not going to notice. Uh, Arvax, you're not going to notice. Mularn, you kind of get an idea. Tarl, you immediately notice this. Gestalt, you got no clue. You, you you are, like, reaching in a bag trying to get, like, your little ice chipper, I guess, out. My gee, it sure is cold outside. He's got, like, one of those, like, uh, windshield squeegees like you have in the north where you kind of scrape the ice off and squeegee it away. <laughs> And I just Uh, look at him while I'm in my blanket that Peregrine gave me, and I'm like, yeah, it is. uh, But, Mularn, you're fairly certain some of this around here is uh, crafted, not natural. Tarl, you see, uh, with your keen dwarven eyes and your understanding of stonework, this is a partially destroyed gate to an old tig. It is a very, very familiar uh, architecture and uh, carvings. Oh, well, this cave ain't natural. It's all handmade from somewhere. It looks like an old ancient tide. Oh, that's interesting. Can I roll a history track to see, understand what a tig is? Yeah, roll me history to see if you know what a tig is. I don't know what a tig is, but I'm but I'm gonna pretend like I do. Okay, a thirteen is enough. A tig is a traditional dwarven homestead. 
Uh, usually tigs are hewn out of uh, mountains or in the underdark, uh, at least in the upper levels where dwarves normally dwell. Uh, a a tig would more or less be an extended family's estate. Up to the size of a small town. History only I know what that is. History on if I recognize any of the carvings. Uh, you do see a couple of them. Uh, let me pull back up the list of dwarven gods that I had. Hey, Dover? Yes. Uh, I am currently in the process of doing the greatest annoyance in miniature painting. I am painting, my models are primed, and I am painting them their final color, which is the same color as the primer. <laughs> oh, no. So, it's okay. Does, does this section look wet? Uh, you see, you do see at least a sign to uh, Moradin, uh, the chief deity. You also see a part of a relief of Dumathoin. And this weather, my Dumathoin is freezing. <laughs> Whoever it was, worship Morden and Dumathoin. Is that good or bad? They're dwarven deities. They're 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 in the lawful good category. I mean, we did find you know stuff that said other people who worshipped guys that weren't cool with the theocracy have been here in the past, so not super surprising, but it's interesting. I wonder how many different kinds of people used to live out here. Uh, I'll also say where this, your family Tarl. lived. Uh, I'll say this, Tarl. You do know that for the most part, uh, in ancient legends, that all the old dwarven tigs scattered across Arax did have some type of underground connection to each other. But that's that's even older than the stories about uh, the sealing of Tiamat on Lothria. Like, you know that most of the dwarves on Lothria, their tigs are connected through very long underground highway systems. Is this where your family lived? Not my present family, but probably related to some of them from somewhere in the past. It, oh, so you it, lived underground too? No, I'm not a dwarf. I, I can't sense sarcasm. Wait, what? That's sarcasm. Okay, I thought I, I thought we just had another like triplet level revelation there. And I was, I was he turns shocked. out he Tarl actually <laughs> stands up to his full six foot six height. He just was bent over like a hermit. <laughs> it it turns out he's actually uh Kalum's kid, but he liked the dwarves better. He takes the pins out of his knees and then like a shock absorber, he springs forward. <laughs> spring, spring hill Tarl. So is it, is it weird for dwarves to have a taiga on island though? No, ancient legend says when they scattered to the, all the different directions, they were interconnected via underground highways. Oh, that'd be, oh, deep highway. Does it appear, uh, DM, like, kind of worse for wear, though? Like, it's not, like, clean and polished? Like, oh, it's no, no, no. The, the re dusty. Until, until Tarl pointed it out. It's abandoned. <laughs> Y'all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, until Tarl pointed out, you thought you were staring legitimately at the mouth of a normal cave. Okay, cool. Tarl is pointing out what looks like eroded structures. Now that, now that he's pointed out, you can see it. Like, oh, that stalactite's actually shockingly cylindrical. Like, <laughs> intentional. Does, is there any yeah, sign that anyone's been through it? Uh, give me a survival check or investigation check if you're trying to see if someone's been through. Hey, just Can stop. I... Sorry, go ahead. 
I was just going to ask if I could roll survival check using my scent capabilities, the keen smell yes. to see if I can smell someone. Okay. Yes, you can. This is an advantage. It's well, like I'm really rolling bad today. You, you need to change your dice color. Change your color! Hey, just thought the person that you saw come in here, were they a dwarf like Tarl was? Uh, would I remember? I, I think you said it was a yeah, it was elf like. A elf like. Okay, so uh, 19. 22, 17. Uh, yeah, y'all can see a, a, a heavy thing of snow has fallen. Oh, he is rolling that ones because it matches his aesthetic. <laughs> uh, the dice are just trying to help. <laughs> so, you can see that someone has moved through here. Uh, but probably not recently. Like, the snow on the outside kind of has hidden any footprints, but if you look further in where some snow has been blown in, there there are some old footprints. Since I'm using scent, can I tell, like, humanoid, monstrous, you, like any, just generic? You get faint whiffs of a perfume. Okay, so not like sh shambling dead person or no, something. No, 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 you, you, you get... Wa wafts of uh, like sandalwood and myrrh kind of Hey Mulak this person smells like you they got that fancy shit that makes you smell good I will smell the air and go Yeah I want to try to no. smell it No no my brother is more sandalwood and my brother is more dragon's blood and patchouli It is definitely patchouli Yeah but he's also literally the only person I've ever known to put things on him to make him smell different what? I my you form don't rattles I as I try to smell the air. Plate. I'm literally covered in mud. I smell like dirt. What do what Wait. smell change do I need? Did you just say you rattle as you smell? My form rattles. Rattles? He is, he okay. is smelling with his entire body. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. I like it. Tarl scratches his beard. Looks around everybody. I think we just need to LJ it. LJ oh, it. What? Leroy Jenkins. Oh. <laughs> Leroy <laughs> Jenkins. As Who is this are, Leroy we're talking about? As y'all are talking about that and smells, you just hear aspect. Leroy Jenkins is the dwarven god of consequences. <laughs> roll, his, roll history check for Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what? No, no. What we're, the way we're, I've we're, been running. Uh, okay. Hold, hold well. up, hold up. No, no, no. We we have a legitimate question to add to the Pantheon. I'm not opposed. What if he's more of like a saint? Like not so much a deity, yeah. but at least a saint. He sacrificed himself. Bodhis he's literally he alive. Fucked and found Bo out. Bo Bodhisattva <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. I will say this. At least he ain't chicken. <laughs> all the all the Aarakocra take that line a little personally, though. Only the chickens. He was more ancient than Morden. <laughs> maybe we should maybe we should have Peregrine make this all sneaky like anyway, even though we're probably just gonna run into this person any, any, yeah, any I could do right. that. And she's gonna look at uh the new the new red friend. Gestalt, would you like to be sneaky with us? I could be a little sneaky. Get sneaky Let's do with the it. sneaky sneaks. Uh, and she'll reach into her pouch. She'll pull out like a very fine powder and kind of clap it between her hands and rub her hands together. And then throw her hands out in a circle with not like a flourishy spin, but more of a directed spin. And cast like a very fine powdery dust all over everybody. Plus ten. And you now have a plus ten. Yeah. Oh god, I gotta drop so much on this new map. The stulp's form shivers a bit as the dust lands. Like, oh, you you're now slightly glittery. <laughs> you, you're a little ashy. Okay. It's, oh, it's me. I will now change. I. I know, but still, it's a nineteen the... though. I yeah. know, but I've changed my color twice since we started already. Uh, because I'm an artificer, 
and can replicate magic items. One of the ones I am replicating are boots of elven. I think it's elven kind that allow you to have advantage on, on the stealthies. You can do a what now? I can replicate magic yeah, items. Yeah, he, a... he can technically. Yo. Make... Yeah, artificers get to do that shit. It's dope. Uh, I That's played, fucking cool. I played one in Chris's game that lasted one session. I decked out the entire party in the bar and still had shit. Is it like a somewhat level rarity uh, restriction? I don't know why it's, it's saying heavy armor. I'm not in heavy armor. It's your big beefy boy behind you. Uh, oh. All right. So I'm going to move y'all to the next. Oh, the nat 20. Even when I get a nat 20, roll 20 is like, no. <laughs> All right. It's again, it wants that red aesthetic for you. That's why I put heavy armor in red for you. Where, am where, where is my mouse? There's my mouse. All right. Can you all see the map that I just dropped you all on? Apparently yeah. I didn't come in with everyone. I see you behind us. Where? Oh, there I am. I just see a black screen. Hold on. Let me give you sight. I thought I had. That was moving me. Stop it. Who is moving you? What is your dark vision, Gestalt? Uh, 60 feet. 60, okay. Who just, who keeps moving? Who, who... That was me, because she probably would have come in towards the front. Okay, so this, this doorway over here, this one that I'm pinging, that is the way y'all came in, so I would need a marching order. As y'all are... You make it in, and you can still see that there's bits and pieces that are carved, but there's been collapses. This is a long abandoned tig. And you might be able so to assume... You might be able to assume why. At least Half we'll Barragrin would have been kind of towards the front. Om nom? Probably. Uh, my... Automaton Colodets would be closer to the front as well. Big question, DM, because we didn't actually discuss this. With the hybrid and the bear form, mm -hmm. could Peregrine viably now have at least like dim light vision or low light or whatever it is? Do, do even if it's not true dark sight? Do do bears not have dark vision in 5e? Well, it's it's because I'm not a bear, so I'm not using bear stats. I'm using the lycanthropy stats. I, so thought, the, I, thought, the, I thought lichens had dark vision. It, you know what? We're gonna even if they say no, we're gonna say yes. Okay, because I think at this Claire. point I'm like the only one that does it. <laughs> hey Claire. Yeah. Shark bomb says they remember you. Oh no. <laughs> what? Yay. Shark bomb because they asked how we knew about it and i said it was uh the gm of the game frecky uh back to kickstarter and was on the discord they're like yeah i remember talking to her yeah that would that's probably uh demetrius talking if i had to guess he's the main developer oh on twitter that's such a Demo fun game. democritus is what he goes by hey, but cool dude. as you get further down it starts to warm up and it's full it's steamy and you realize that y'all are getting close to a natural hot spring down here. Ooh, fancy. Wait, is this like nice hot spring or like melt your skin off hot spring? Uh, give, give me or do I have to stick a paw in to realize? Give me a survival. We've dealt with the ones that'll burn you before in the other game. Tell you what, would a perception with smell probably tell me if this is acidic or not? Uh, Maybe. Yeah, sure. I'll try that. Science. Oh, God. Well, See if it's like acrid or acidic smelling, or if it's just kind of sulfurous, which there, would be a little safer. There's a little bit of a sulfur smell. There's a little bit of a toot toot. A hoot toot. Yes, a hoot a Rudy toot toot. There's a hoot hoot. There's a Pokemon down here. I do love hoot hoot. You know, hoot hoot actually has two legs. He just swaps them so quickly, no one ever sees the two legs at the same time. So he just looks like he has one leg. When he, hop when he hops in Pokemon Go, you can see both legs. And you, that's so cute. 
It's kind of like owls in real life when you actually lift up their body, you realize their legs are for like days. <laughs> it's so weird looking. Owls got long legs. They're mostly floof. Pretty okay. Much. So yeah, if you see an owl without feathers, it's actually kind of frightening. I believe it. No, the, the, it's kind of frightening anyway. Uh, bears without hair is probably one of the weirdest things to see. That's a weird one too. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's how people think there's a chupacabra. Oh okay. no! If Peregrine ever gets burned, she's gonna lose all her fur. <laughs> Naked Peregrine. Oh boy. Okay, so we are in a place with holes of water. Yep. It's, uh, anyone that's wearing armor, you start having condensation build from the steam on your armor. Oh, baby. 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 It's probably just Max. Mr. Rick's dog. It'll be fine. Does it look like a path has been traveled in either direction recently? Uh, roll me another investigation check or survival check as you come through here. Ah. Also, ignore the plus tens. I'm sorry. Those are only for the pass without trace. I need to uncheck that for now. Does anybody else want to investigate around the hot springs? I would like to see if I can find a an appropriate path forward. Okay. Just do an investigation to see what would be the safest. and Yeah. Hey, good roll. Hey, hey, I'm doing it. Are we going with the 20? Is that 23, the survival you roll, Peregrine? That's correct. Okay. Um, Everybody looking around, it's fairly easy to navigate around these pools. These two larger ones, it gets a little tight between them. And the ground's not 100% sure right there. But you can move around this area. And there seems to be multiple pathways out. But as for footprints, there is a set that seems to go up to the north. And everybody give me a perception check real quick. No. I talk too much shit. Ooh. Hey, law of averages, though. Okay, That's so... That's a pretty boy. So, let's go up here. Perception, Peregrine, you're not going to notice. Gestalt, you're not going to notice. Tarl, you're not going to notice. But Arvax and the twins, y'all hear footprints with... You put that foot, uh, yeah, you hear footprints being made by footsteps. Uh, you hear footsteps, and you can hear a very melodic humming almost like that of a hymn and as the three of you turn and look you see a very beautiful dark haired tall high elven man who is eating something and humming and stops at the mouth of this cave seeing the group of you and seems just as surprised to see you as some of y'all are probably surprised to see him just walking out. Oh, <laughs> was, the song, was the song pretty? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. No, I'm just, Tarl, initiative. I was going to say, as soon as I turn around to see him, I was going to cast whole person. Well, let's all. Uh, Tarl has already done it, so everybody click your token and roll. Damn it, it. Tarl! <laughs> Damn it, Tarl! I was trying to get it something in before rolled down. You know, dwarves don't like elves. It's a my people, Tarl. He's a people. That's it's a pointed ear elf. I'm a pointed ear elf. So are three of us. <laughs> Orc by culture, not by, you know, race. Orc by way of Chicago. Alright, so let's see. What do we got on these initiative orders? Jank. 
I knew I was going to roll garbage. Uh, you're, you're yeah, surprised. I rolled pretty bad. Okay, who has the higher decks out of Mularn and Arvax? My dex is plus two. Three. I have a I'm saying Mularn. Not I have a seven. I have a seventeen dex. Oh, Mularn. He probably has plus what about, three. What well, about what so. about Gestalt? It shows three, three and two. Gestalt's two. Okay. So, uh... Just a little parentheses to the side. Oh, I was not looking at the dice thing. I was just getting everything in order. Okay. Uh, Tarl, you get to act first. Take your business, Elf. Just takes the piece of fruit he's eating away from his mouth. Investigating a cavern? What is your business? I'm looking for the man flying pigeons. Do, do you mean doves? Yeah, birds with wings. Flappy things. Birds with wings as opposed to birds without wings. Those two. I like birds with wings. <laughs> Thanks, Gestalt. What else are you I doing? like birds without wings. <laughs> I don't like know. Just the wings. The wings are pretty good, especially if they're boneless. Just not the bomb. Oh, crap. If we come down there, Chris has to give y'all the bomb. Yeah, I'm passing off that hot sauce to y'all. Okay, I'll try it. Oh god, I forgot about that. I'll pass some along to you then in return. Oh, that, my, that my dad made. Yes, that is true. We will trade. I mean, I'll try it. Satan's laxative. I don't trust. I have done this enough times now where I'm just like, grin and bear it. Alright, Tara, what else are you doing? You, you, you moved over here. Just moving closer, and I am going to be prepared with my hammer should an attack take place. He's just going to take another bite of which, Tarl, the closer you get now, you can see it's uh, something akin to an apple that he's eating. He's like, I'm just up here. Conducting an investigation about what's in the caverns. More concerned about why he kind of looks over the whole group, stops directly on Gestalt for a second with a confused expression. I'm assuming Aspic jumps up on your shoulder and is like doing like some posturing or something like that. Uh, Gestalt, is that fair to assume? Mm. Yeah. Because I, I feel I feel Aspect is the little shit talker of the party now. He can be that. Is the guy wearing like theocracy robes? Or oh, anything? very much, very pristine theocracy vestments. Oh no! Is, is it? Would I would would me or my brother recognize the like recognize like the vestments as far as like. Uh, okay, yeah. Roll or me the order or uh, the two. Of, yeah, the two of you. Since y'all are y'all have been here, y'all roll. Roll me a history check to see if you can remember this. Can I roll for funsies? Sure. Uh, yeah, all three of you know that uh, the white vet. It's the it's the regular white vestment. Um, there are some markings that denote that he is connected to the woven branch. Like you can see the, uh, the ring around the golden tree over the, the breast of the vestiment. Um, Mularn, you notice on his collar, uh, the three marks that denote him as a cannon. 
which it Do goes it goes keeper, shepherd, cannon. That's a rank above what Dreyfus was, isn't it? Yeah, uh, but wouldn't Dreyfus know this stuff? Uh Y'all, I'm not. He's the NPC, and unless y'all ask him to talk, no, I'm just asking because I thought Dreyfus was a shepherd. Uh, oh, Dreyfus was a Dreyfus was a Where shepherd. Dreyfus was a shepherd. It goes uh, keeper, shepherd, cannon, vicar, uh, vicar general. I believe. Let me go double check my terms. The woven. Bridge. I remember I know you. What that I, is. I remember you saying he was a shepherd because we. You said. We would not realize because he was a tiefling, he would probably never go above that rank. Yeah, it's surprised that he even made it to that. So it goes Canon Vicar. So this is a guy that would be just below Elvorn in rank. Um, hey, do I re- is is there is there a particular pattern or colors denote to denote his diocese? Um, yeah. Let me go back to one of my other maps. It is actually the Lovetrin Diocese where Mott Dryas is, where you're originally from. So, DM? Or go ahead. If that's the case, uh, do me or my brother recognize him? Uh, With your role, I say you do. Uh, This guy is Canon Lorraine. He, he used to be part of the Rid of Shadows, which is kind of the spy core of the Theocracy military. Oh, don't like that. What was his name again? Canon Lorraine. It should be on the uh, the turn Lorraine. order. Okay. What were you asking, though, more... Gestalt? Yes. I was just going to say, I'm going to recognize the Woven Branch. And just start giving a very encyclopedic knowledge, like spiel, to the rest of the party, as if someone someone play the Pokedex song, <laughs> yeah, and then just Gestalt starts going off on facts. I'm pretty sure I ate someone from this place. Well, uh, considering the fact, considering what the Rowan Branch is, it's not super surprising, honestly. You are you're you Lorray. Turns and looks at you. Oh pale cloak looks glittery. You're the bright gloom twins. I flash him a big smile when he says looks glittery. I spoke to your father just a month or so ago. His health as well. Insight check on that. Okay, anybody that wants to do an insight check, you can. What the fuck? Nope. Um. That will suck. Mulak, uh, Mulak Mularn. Uh. Everyone else seems like a straightforward that their father's health is well. There's a twinge to the tail end of the note twins. And also is that he a- said he saw him a month ago. Wait, so the part that he's lying about is that our dad is sick? There's a twinge to it could also... There's just... Has he been here more than a month? He's been okay. One, yes, he's been here more than a month, but that does not negate magical travel and other bullshit. Uh, what I'm saying is, there is when he says your father is well, his health is well. There's a slight twinge in there that you feel might be like no one else picked it up because they rolled pretty daggum low. Y'all pick up that there's a twinge of something to it. There's something, there's something there that's not, like, he's not necessarily lying, but he's not telling everything. I think that's the best way to describe it. So this is, I'm 
I'm I'm not gonna lie here. This is what I what what is uh, what is about to happen and was uh, what's up the conversation that we're about to have is going to be relatively awkward considering my fr- uh, for uh, my friends are going to be consider uh, considerably on edge for the near future of this conversation. And I am being I, that that is and I am when I say when I say that I'm assuming a posture of familiarity as well as it was said not as threat but as in, in this is informative like this is how it, this is how this is how it's gonna be like just heads up don't take it personal my friends my friends are going to be very on edge for a moment considering they're wanted fugitives yes there it is so we don't look anything like those posters i'll have you know i especially am not one of the fugitives because None of those fugitives look at all like me. Do I look like an orc to you, Perry? I don't look like an orc. He just shrugs. Elvorn is not the most creative artist. He is not. And so am I a, a fugitive? I am not sure what you are. Uh, I, I'm Gestalt. How are you doing? Are we even going in turn order? Uh, <laughs> Uh, we're just we're going in this sort of because y'all rolled initiative and then people started talking and I'm not getting rid of initiative yet because I know y'all somebody gonna do something. So what are you investigating here in the case? The reason why we lost all this territory in this old tide that belonged to dwarves. I'm fairly certain what I escaped down in that village is the reason do, that you don't possess this island anymore. Do we know him as, like, a blowhard? Um, give me another history check then, Mulak, because you're you're asking this. History? Ugh. Ah, that's not bad. Um... You don't know of him as a blowhard. There has to be a history there because... There's there's the woven branch that are the military police, like they are the church bodyguards and enforcement on the civ- the civil level. Below them would be like the actual village guards that you know uh, or mercenary co- or companies they get hired to protect because the woven branches probably doesn't have enough people to guard every single town. Um. The writ of land, the writ of waves, uh, let me see, the writ of shadows. I think those are the three writs. I'm using the stone of uh, telepathy to all within 60 feet of me that have one. I'm saying. I I can't can't hear you. I can't hear it, Gestalt. I know uh, he knows who we are. He's a member of the military police. He's going to turn us in. We need to do something. Uh, to, to finish the last little bit, to, to answer uh, Malak's question. He was, sorry, he was in the Writ of Shadows. There's the Writ of Land, that's the, the land-based army. There's the Writ of Waves, which is the Navy, which y'all heard is actually far away from the Elves right now. The Writ of Shadows are almost the boogeymen. Like, if the Writ of Shadows shows up, somebody else is disappearing. Like, it, they're the wet works department. The espionage department. And if he got moved from that to the Woven Branch, there's something there that you've never found out what or never knew what. People made rumors and stuff, which you feel free to make up whatever the fuck you want, Kyle. Because it'll be better than what I come up with. Um, there's probably a reason he got moved to the Woven Branch out of active duty military.
So what what is everybody doing before we move back into turn order? Is are we still conversating or what what we do? I I'm just here. I'm like, wow, this is interesting. I am just here. There I, sure I, is a lot of information I, I I'm really gleaming from both in the vicinity and in my own head. So So you obviously uh, So you obviously know about our current unfortunate predicament. Yes. Yes, I do. That's what, uh, being quite frank, uh, being quite frank, um, you'll be, you'll, you'll have to forgive, especially myself and my brother, uh, if we're, if we, if we take what you say at, at a, with a grain of salt until otherwise given reason to, considering, well, no one, no, oh no, no one has harmed your father at all or your mother. That's very good to hear. My question is what number one? What are you? Uh, uh, do you have any plans to do anything with the current information that you have? Yes, I'm going to send back the information I have been gathering on this tig and cavern back to back to the south. That is my mission. To report on only the cavern. I was very specifically given the command to investigate why we have records of possessing this land, but no one knows why we don't. Are you one of those not-my-job people? Because if so, we, we we might be cool. This you? Points at all of you? Definitely not my job. Insight check? Just just feeling it out? I'm probably not going to do great on this. All right, do an insight check. Eh. Uh, he's telling the truth. You are you are not his job. And that includes reporting back on us as well? Because whatever it was that was down in that village that was messing with you and that you think might be the reason why it kept it lost you this territory, we just had to destroy that thing, and that was fucking difficult. So we might briefly be able to be enemy of the enemy is my friend in this one particular case. Oh. Fantastic that you killed that. I managed to skirt through it. I had a lot more provisions than I remember bringing with me, but makes sense. We're going to be here a while. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm reporting back to Philarol about what I find here. You weren't here when I got here. Therefore, I don't have to report on you. This is my mission. I frankly do not care what you do. You Slings are... Slings over to Peregrine. Who the fuck is Profiterol? Uh, El Elfiterol uh, is the capital. It's a dessert. It's a, called a Profiterol. It's a very fancy dessert. Mm. Uh, for anybody in the room... What's dessert? If it, if it's like a is... really fancy thing to eat after you eat. Uh, Why it, would I eat after I eat? I just ate. It's full we'll of sugar. We'll, we'll talk yes. about it later, Perry. Okay. It's like a cake or ice cream or it's a, it's a crepe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've had mm -hmm. ice cream. It's where you milk the goat directly into the snow and then you eat it. It's really good. Dessert. Well, usually you, well, I mean, I guess that could work. I mean, you would need more sugar than just like goat's milk. I you think. can also like. Have you ever way? had? Have you ever had a strawberry? No. I like strawberries. I think. You ever had a any type of berry? Yes, lots. You just imagine. 
imagine that snow with the cream and also some sugar and that berry, but also the berries have sugar. So and he just goes on a long spiel, probably mostly talking to uh to just all uh, just about dessert. So, I understand really all excited. of that except sugar. L Lorraine Sorry, is gonna go ahead, look over. <laughs> Lorraine's looking at all of you. And you know El what I could actually El use right now is a creme El brulee. Elvorn has had issues with this. Okay. Yeah, we had a friend. He was a chef, and he made really good desserts. Uh, I could use something. Oh, like that. so a sandwich is a dessert. I get it. You it can, can get be. a yeah if you have an ice cream sandwich. All right. He he just looks. Are, so is this is this what y'all are going to be doing? Because if that's the case, I'm I'm going to go back to work. Who, who who are who who is scared of us, or who are, who who are we a uh, uh, thorn in the side of? So we'll explain it later. Yeah, church. So it, it predates you. So we'll let you know later what that's all about. That seems interesting. They threatened my dad. That's not good. You should. Actually, I, I look at the guy over there. He's like, you shouldn't threaten people's dads. That's oh, not I, good. I didn't. Not threaten. him. I didn't threaten well, him. I just. To be fair, the threat sounded exactly like what you said earlier about his health being well. Oh no, your father's health is very well. He's just not allowed to leave the house. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad everything is good with your dad. Then. So, my question to you, since we're being honest. Once your report gets back that the, and I am going to assume that you are going to take credit for the, the creature not being here anymore, which is fine. I don't care. Oh, no, I didn't do that. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm honest. I will say a helpful group of adventurers dispatched an unknown creature that seems to be the root of the problem that occurred on the island of Obelette. So how long do we have before they start sending missionaries? Week, two weeks, maybe. Well, no, Elvorn has taken a whole lot of resources and is pretty much going town to town. Is there anything we can really do in get this cave to help expedite the final stages of your investigation? Looks at we want to expedite it. He looks at all of you. Oh, there is absolutely no way any of you are capable of helping with this. I have a select set of skills. Thank you very much. I'm not great at many things, but the few things I'm okay at, I'm actually pretty good at. I'm assuming, but I understand. It, it, I'm assuming it is hitting things with your large bear like body. Using One would stone. assume, but I'm actually pretty good at tracking. Using the stone again. If he sends this report out. He sends this report out. We've only got about a week before people will start coming in here and our covers are blown. With him, and I, I respond, with him with him being here and probably already sending reports previous to this, him not sending report would probably only buy us maybe another week. Yeah, I don't think the peop most of the people down in the town are going to take kindly to that. And the and Ublet is and Ublet is going to pay for it would pay for it. Is it though? Because no one wants to come here. Not any, uh, question. Would it be viable for us to offer him something to delay his final report? And again, this is all in the head talky stuff. She's not saying this out loud. Could could we attempt to offer him something to request extra time so he can return and prepare? Before you, he sends off the final report. If y'all are talking on that, I don't hear any of it. But y'all don't know that. I don't think I know what that is. So I'm just sitting there like, you know I, what? I haven't met these people until like yesterday, but I think they're pretty capable. They look very capable. You think Elvorn's actually going to bother sending anyone here when he's got all the other shit he's doing back on the mainland? No, he's, no, he might, he might be delayed. He's looking at making an excursion into the damp wood. Um, and wants to spread the Holy Wind to a couple of the other dioceses. He's the head, he's the, uh, what? he's the Elder Prior now. He, he became the Elder Prior of, uh, the Hebon, and he is looking at expanding the Holy Wind to the northern part of the continent, because there seems to be heathens everywhere. 
What? Yeah, he's going on a drow hunt. It's a problem for another day, Arvax, and she'll say that through the stone. Problem for every day. So, I agree. My question to you, and uh, my question to you now, is. What, when are you, uh, when are you sending your report? Or have you sent it already? I have been sending them weekly. So the knowledge, so the knowledge that, so the knowledge that this, enti that the entity is gone should be reaching them, I would imagine, sometime in the next two or three days. Well, now that you told me it's gone. And we would, at that point, have potentially a week before... Maybe, maybe two. There's a ghost ship out in the out in the channel. Did you know that? There's a what now? There's, That's a, what I've heard. There's a ghost ship. I've heard it's that. just it's on fire and sailing randomly with one one guy yelling at the front of it. Yeah, I've heard that. That's it. That's really cool. Um, can I ask you a ser can I ask you a serious question and get a truthful answer? Regardless Maybe. of your vest, regardless of your vestments, and regardless of what you have heard of us and the reason for this holy wind, what is your opinion of Elmore? He was bright and promising. I don't want the church line. No, he was bright and promising. Until what is he now, then? Salty and bitter because he got in trouble for diddling a cultist. Good to know. Hmm. Well, that's... And he looks... That's as, good. As he, says that, going he, to... as he says that, he looks directly at Dreyfus. <laughs> I am going to... Oh, crap. Oh, wait. A cultist? How does Dreyfus this. react? We knew this, y'all! Specifically, a cultist. Yeah. Yeah, I'm we don't remember. I am going to look at Arvax and go, so that's where he learned how to do that. I'm lost. We'll explain later. Dreyfus leans Peregrine over. Is too. Dreyfus just leans over. Um, he's talking about my dad, who's high up in the military police. My mom was apparently a cultist. He lied to me for almost 20 years about where I was from and that I was not his child. Proceeded to oh, beat me. I misunderstood and thought you were a cultist and got diddled by your dad. What the what? fuck? Dreyfus, I mean, would you, Dreyfus would stops, you seriously put it past Elmore, honestly? Dreyfus, Dreyfus <laughs> stops in mid-conversation to you, Gestalt, and turns and looks at Mulak with his very concerned and confused face. Because I, I was like, dude, I gave you the perfect last name. You know, y'all said I was kind of weird. It, it's a lot. I never said that. Buddy, you got no idea. Y'all didn't, but... Tarl, uh, Tarl, as they're all having this very awkward conversation across a hot spring from this priest, what are you doing? Just keeping my eye on him standing at the ready. The... All I'm saying... Is that there's a is that I believe it or not? So they're coming either way, and if we they don't get a letter from him, it's just going to take a little longer. Correct. And we honestly were lucky enough to have encountered the situation to understand. We now have a timeline because we did not have a timeline he to just, begin with. Oh no, no, they have no plans to come here yet. Literally, I am just sending them information about what I find, saying that so... yes, we do have a claim to this land. I have found records. So if but they don't hear that from you, they're not coming. Oh, they've already gotten some of them. Give it time. Uh... That's my thing, is now we know that this area is on a radar, is my point. We now know that this area is on a radar. The timing worked out where we now know this. Oh, we worked so we can... hard for that not to be the case. Well, we knew it wasn't going to be permanent. But so just so that you know, 
I'm gonna look over at drive. I'm going to look at. I'm going to look over at Dreyfus and go. Uh, what is in this room wasn't the only thing that he got out. It wasn't the only thing that Embor got out of that really got out of that relationship. Okay, still not my problem. And he's going to start to turn to try to go back down that uh, hallway. I've wasted enough time here. Uh, do we need to like stop him? Or I, I, I'm sorry, I'm very confused. I get through the stone thing. Uh, if we kill him, it will give us more time. If we, if we kill him, kill it will him, not it'll... give him more time because suddenly his reports will stop and that will become a high priority. We got a lot going on and this place isn't high priority in the first place. Correct, but we don't know if he is. Were y'all looking for someone like this? Yeah. Uh, trying... mm, no, actually we're trying to avoid someone like this. I'm confused. Avoid him getting word back to where we are. He's not going to. He's he's a not my job person. I've met people no, like this. No, but before. what he does is still going to bring more focus to here, and it's they're going to have some focus anyway. But he hasn't actually said that much to them about why they should focus. Here. Well, the fact that he's here proves that they have some level of focus here anyway. If a reporter suddenly stops reporting, there's going to be curiosity, and while sure, we don't necessarily know if they're going to respond within days or weeks or even months. We now don't know when they would. We at least have some also, idea that they are looking here, so we need to plan to leave regardless, because they're going to come back if he doesn't report in. And when they come, and they find him, or they don't find him and see signs of a struggle, you know, like a village that has been terrorized by a creature, and he is nowhere to be found, or they find his body... And we're not here to take the blame for that. They're going to immediately turn. They're be going to immediately blame the first people that they see. Who are the people of Ublet? Let's not have that happen. That's not good. And those people, while so far we've been fine and I trust them, I have seen tactics that are not very kind. And I would not put it past them to report on our presence here. And then we have an even bigger target on our back. Because they know that we are the reason he did not do his final report. One group, yeah. The rest of the town doesn't seem to want anything to do with that. They still know we're here, though. And that honestly would give it an even bigger reason, though, for them to say something. So I, I think that we need to take this as a blessing. This was a good thing because we now know there is interest here. They are here. They will eventually come back. And we have time now to prepare and leave. This was okay. never a final solution. And it's time to expedite, uh, expedite, move up the priority list of what do we do next and then implement quickly. And even if he does later end up spilling the beans, we'll be long gone. Okay, so you see him walk off that way. And then he seems to also come out from this direction at the same time. Uh, he did a That's thing. That's a weird trick. I wave a pseudopod at him. He turned the look on his it, face is He's a high elf, you said, or he's like us? He is a high elf. Okay. And he just looks direct or he looks at you. What are you doing here? We have this not moved. Who are you, state your purpose? Oh. Two of you? No. There's something else here. Uh, can I do an arcana check? Yep. I would like to do a perception check with scent to see if this smells like the same person that just walked off. Okay. Uh, Gestalt with the 20 in Arcanum. You can sense some magic here. Like, would I have an idea, or would I have to, like, pop a uh, detect magic to have an idea of what's going on? Okay, so, here's what I will tell y'all. But, everybody's rolling. Um, 
Peregrine, this individual smells like the smell you smelled coming into the cavern. This individual has that perfume smell. The other one did not? The other one did not. Fuck. And Gestalt, you're getting the lingering effects of some type of... uh, you're getting the, the lingering effects of some type of illusory magic. Mm, something's off here. Peregrine's going to very quickly say through the stone, this is not the same guy, the person we were tailing, this is the person we were tailing. I don't know who we just talked to, but we did not just speak to the person we were tailing. That is all I know. What the fuck are you? Canon Lorraine. Okay, what the fuck? Something's off here. I'm gonna I don't res- think this I'm is... I'm going to reset initiative. How long have you been here, Lorraine? Bright glooms. I was told to keep an eye out for you. You were? Yes. By your father. Is he, said... he wearing the same vestment? Yeah, same everything. It's not changed anyway. It doesn't look like he's gotten anything on it older. Uh, th- there, there are some stains that are on the lower parts of the vestment. It's fucking time magic. What the? F- and Peregrine will clarify as well uh, that this one, like, has the perfect. Okay. I don't know if this is something that she would have noticed retroactively. Did the other one have a scent? Or lack thereof? Yes, it did not. Now that you're thinking about it, there was a distinct lack of a scent from that other one. Okay, she's going to say that through the stone, too, and say, this one smells like what we were tracing. I now realize the other one had no scent whatsoever. Where'd you come from? From this, from, oh God, now I gotta remember the name of the diocese. No, like, we just talked to you, you walked away, and now you're acting like we didn't talk to you. I've never seen you. Or I you seen know you. my name, though. Oh, I've never seen you here. I haven't seen either of you since you were children. I'm gonna walk over. I'm going to. I'm gonna walk over next uh, next to my brother, and tell him what we said through the stone. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna uh, look at uh, look at him. He smells. He smells good. The other one didn't. At all. So you were tr- told to look out for them. Is that why you're here? Oh no, I'm here on. A, I think there might special... be some illusionary I'm magic on a, going on. I'm here on a special mission, but I was told to watch out for them by their father when we put him in the stockade. We also have something to report to you because there is someone currently, or something currently masquerading as you that we just spoke to. And I think that's a rather big deal that there is someone walking around impersonating you with the same name, the same garb, the same hair, and the same face as you. And they just walked that way. You're speaking foolishness. I can make it so so you know we're telling the truth, but uh, trust me, yeah, that's what happened. Can I insight check on him to see if he's saying foolishness and that he's trying to intentionally dismiss us? Like, he seems like he might know something's going on, or does he just yeah. genuinely think we're full of shit? Uh, I will say this without rolling. You, he he is looking at you like you were full of shit. Um, he looks at all around the room. The drow. The twins. The dwarf. Don't use that word. Don't use that word. The penitent and... And that thing. Hi. Hi again, actually. Uh, I think Sorry, something... this, this guy's trying to come off stern and all of a sudden, hi, I'm Paul. Yeah, I think some creature is trying to imitate you. Uh, he went this way, and I think it's some sort of illusionary magic. You might want to get on that, like, because he might have, like, your DNA or something. He might be trying to, like, you know infest your brain or something wait but what's b and a i don't know i just it just came right to me 
right, well, quick, uh, there's a little scientist somewhere voice is, in the back. <laughs> who is trained? Who is trained in Arcana? Oh, real quick, I just want to subtle magic cast detect magic. Okay. Uh, well, I I am trained in Arcana. Okay, I was gonna say anybody that's trained well, in Arcana can roll. Also, Mulak is gonna just automatically see it. Um. Uh, so Mularen, you're gonna sense it. Uh, Mulak, you can see that this gentleman before you, uh, underneath the vestment, there is a bunch of bright glowingness that is his body. Like, it looks like something he is wearing underneath these priestly garments. Probably, what, what's your intelligence, Mulak? Ten. The, the, okay, it's kind of hard to miss. That's probably armor. There is a sword that seems to have a glow to it, but you can see around his neck is a, a, uh, a right, like behind, like around the choker. There's like a little, uh, well, it's not the choker, it's a collar. There's a pin on it that seems, that is glowing. And that you would know that this is a, I believe it would be, let me double check what this spell is. It would come from, uh, yep, yeah, okay, it's evocation. That's not what I thought it was. Uh, there's evocation strongly coming from his collar, abjuration from underneath it, and evocation on the sword. Uh, Mularn, your eye is drawn to that same pin that is on the collar, and you feel you're being recorded. The spell magic. On, on what? The collar. Okay, you watch as the uh, the stone fades. There's just a smirk on his very very beautiful face. I'm I miss okay. some, I think I misunderstood what you said. It it is him though, right? He's just covered in magical items. Yeah, it's there. There's multiple okay. magical items on him. I wanted to ask if look down where the first one went. Is it just like pitch black down that hallway? Uh, as far as you can see, your dark vision cuts out. It's just a dark hallway. Peregrine's gonna talk through the stone to Arvax. Do you think you and I both need to make a detour to the north to see if we can figure out what's going on before shit goes super south here? I don't know how to do that though without causing a problem. We do. We're gonna like jump to time or something. I was th gonna see if I could throw like a rock or something at him in the back of the head because it's some weird time thing. But I don't. I feel like even if it was a time thing, this would be the later time. Yeah. In which case, he already know done all of this. Our the just other one was a rock refreshed. so hard it goes into the future. <laughs> Fun fact: We actually legitimately. I was in a campaign once where that was a mechanic with a shadow thing, and a person knew it, and they still shot a gun into the shadow and shot themselves in their own ass, even though we explicitly learned how the shadows worked. <laughs> it's like, did he have all of this stuff on visually the last time? Uh, he had the vestment on, but he didn't have all the other crap. Y you couldn't tell, like every like when you if you take your if you t turn detect magic off, he is literally just looking like a dude in a robe. Like the magic items are underneath, like the robe it's or the, the cloak and stuff. Yeah, the robe is over his armor. It's just that when you did detect magic, you could see it. Special mission, huh? Yes. Cool. So. Wouldn't happen to be finding out the uh, he actually has a claim to this place. What? He has a smirk. We're finding about the danger that was down in the village. Oh, that. That was a false hydra. Well, we killed it. Congratulations. You know, James unimpressed. This one's a lot more mean. I'm <laughs> <laughs> screw the stone. Can I kill him now? But no. he just looks. Um, the... He just looks, and the the room. 
starts to feel like it tilts a little bit as he looks at all of you. I'm going to need you to lay down your weapons. Uh, I need everybody to make a charisma. Save. It's on you, bitch. I am the weapon. Need y'all to make charisma. I, I need I you have, to make. Okay, Christmas. Oh my God. Charisma. Peregrine, Peregrine just lays down on the ground. Plus three, plus three, plus three. Basically for me as well. Tarl, if you're you within, Tarl saves. If you're within ten. Peregrine saves. Malarn saves. I'm scared me, because this is going to roll uh, for me. But... Well, hold on. Uh, elves have advantage on being charmed, correct? Uh, no, that's gnomes. No. Advantage oh, on saving throws, being charmed, and can't be put to sleep on. Oh, okay. They both Did you say to... charisma saving throw is what you said? Yeah. Yes. Wait, actually, no. Uh, I believe uh, my constructs are immune to any like charisma effects. 27! Let me check. Okay, so uh, I think the only yeah, person... Yeah, charm that... immunities. I yeah, think, I think the only person that uh, is affected by this is Gestalt. Oh, let me revert to cube. <laughs> let, let me. Is it is it Gestalt or is it Aspect? No, oh, well, uh, As Aspect I... and Gulm don't have it. I don't think they don't have. Yeah, it for like it. I, I forgot they're immune oh, no. to. Uh, oh no, Dreyfus! Do you hear Dreyfus's sword clink to the ground? You Dreyfus. Dreyfus, uh, and... I command you to pick up your weapon. As you turn and as you turn and look, Dreyfus's eyes are kind of glazed over, and so are Gestalt's. I uh, revert into a cube. All my equipment falls down. Boom, 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 boom. What? Through the stone, through the stone thing, uh, Paragus is going to say, "Fun fact, motherfucker just tried to cast a spell on us, so uh, it's fighting time, bitches." So, Tarl, we will start with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can tell her now. Well, my computer is uh, giving me fits, so uh, I just want to step up to him and start swinging. Oh, let's see. You, yeah, you can skirt around the edge of this, Bill. Put you in a little bit of a precarious situation right next to the the hot spring. Is that okay? Wait, you had reset. Let me see if it reloads real quick. Hold on. You had reset initiative, or we're going with the same initiative? We're just starting back at the top. Okay. All right, it's it's showing for me right now. Hang on. You could go down and around this way, or I think 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. If you do that, I think you could still get to them from going around that pillar. <laughs> Peregrine can do a thing now now that she leveled up and I'm really excited about it All right, a 30 definitely hits. Hold on, let me get a notebook out. I got to write down HP. However, a 12 is going to miss. Ugh. Gross. All right, that's Sorry. my turn. Sorry. Let's see. Now, you notice something... Uh, Tarl, when you hit him, he does not make a strength. I don't have to make a strength save with him. You watch as the ice starts to form around him and then just seems to fall away from him. With the uh, stone, ice doesn't affect him. All right, is that the end of your turn, Tarl? Yep. All right. 
he is going to unleash three sword attacks. Uh, let's see, 26 and 28, I am assuming hit, but a 14 will miss. Yep. So that is eight magical slashing plus three fire for 11 plus another seven. So that's 18 total. Uh, Tarl. Give me a investigation check with advantage because you are a smith. You notice where his sword passed. It's like it passed straight through you and there is a charred mark across your armor that you, with because it's an at 20, uh, you know if too many strikes like this could probably rend armor open. And then he is going to turn and look back at the rest of the group. And make sure I'm reading this spell correctly. Do, 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 do. Yep, range. I guess I don't have it as a spell attack. I just have it as a card. He is going to chill touch the closest person, which is going to be Arvax. So he has to roll to hit. Oh, wobble, wobble. Huh? It's still just as wobble. Wobble wobble. What's wobble wobble? I'm just a little gelatin on the Oh, ground okay, talking point. about. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't say that Gestalt had said that. So that is a 24 to hit. Jeez. You fucking kidding me? Wait, is that a 24 damage or hit? That's 24 hit. hit. 24 to hit Arvax. Oh, okay. I thought that was like damage. I was no, like, my geez. AC is twenty fucking one. Come on, man. That is fourteen. <gasps> that is fourteen necrotic. Hey, now you know how I felt when I got hit with thirty-four AC with disadvantage to hit me. So that is yeah, and let's see, you have disadvantage on. Oh, that's if it hits an undead. So you're good. You you just take the you take the fourteen damage. Arr. So that's his attack. You're then gonna watch him Misty step to there. Where's his character sheet? I actually have to write that one and mark that usage. Because this dude is confusing because there's natural spell abilities and then there are the leveled ones I have to remember to spend a spell slot on. Over, I just learned today about a plasmoid. Is that what you are? That is what I'm playing, like, uh, statistically. Okay. Like, I'm not, I'm like, out of character, I'm not playing, like, the alien version. Okay. Are, you, are you just flavoring it as essentially a sentient gelatinous cube? Yeah. He, he threw the idea at me, and I thought it was cool. So, He's unglorable! I like it. All right. Peregrine. Um, did... I I think I must have did... When Peregrine used her scent earlier, did we determine that these were harmless pools of water or dangerous pools of water? Uh, they're kind of sulfurous. Uh, which okay. is, like, expected, so, like, they're probably just still very eggy, hot. Just eggy smell, not like... They're not, like, gonna burn you as soon as you touch it. I don't I mean, think you're... it would burn aesthetically, but they are probably. Well, I mean, it's not. It's not like acid. Is correct. Acidity you... would not be a problem. Temperature could be a problem, though. We are in a cave with hot water, and your husband's the DM. Take that information and do with it what you will. I trust nothing. And I never happened had... in Lost Seas the last time we dealt with hot fucking water. <laughs> that, that 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 was an issue. I had flashbacks when we walked in here. Goddamn it. <laughs> Okay, um, she is going. To, so I'm. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going back to kind of old school Peregrine here. Uh, Peregrine's going to move over. 
and break his fucking oh, yeah, jaw. Yeah, easily. Yeah, uh, I you, would look I, at me to move on top of him. Uh, I will say this: you do not have to worry about where you just moved because of Earth Ganassi stuffs. Fuck yeah! Uh, I would like to rage for the first time in a very long time. Okay, you rage. And she is going to strike down with her new fancy, which she hasn't used yet, Femoral Arc. Okay. Twice. A 27 and a 19 both hit. Okay. Uh, and then the damage is already, it looks like it auto-calculated, so. 11. Oh. 28. That's nice. Good damage. Yeah. And at this time, since she's good on health, she's not doing any of that expending the extra uh, stuff yet for it. So, so that three charge a day thing. So, yeah. you definitely got his attention with that. So he's at the. Uh, is there anything else you're doing, Perry? Frankly, no. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I want to just wail on somebody now. I, I haven't just wailed on somebody in a while. <laughs> Uh, just so she's just like roaring someone. at him. Sorry. She is still half bear form, so like she's still bestial, but Okay. He is uh going to use his first legendary action of this round. Uh okay. you, you smacked him, Perry. And you, you watch the vestiment has been torn. And that armor underneath it has what looks like a, a bunch of small woven uh wires through it like it's almost like a weird metal coiled sweater i think that makes sense kind of it, like frodo's mithril shirt that it, was like kind of woven looking it wasn't chainmail looking it looked woven yeah it's it definitely looks woven not like linked or plated and it starts glowing i need you to give me a con save which i know you're going to probably do well on DM, don't you dare jinx me here. Hey! Hey! You you both jinx it, and <laughs> it was a curse and a blessing. The, the dice giveth and they take it away. This is what, your third nat 20 tonight? This is awesome. Uh, yeah. So, the good news is you're going to take... A quarter damage, if it would no, have been it, half damage. No, you, you, you will take half. Which is the amount... And then a quarter, have, because rage. No, 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 no. It's... I'm saying... Oh, I'm rage, sorry, okay. Yep, you smack him, and you watch this twirl and weave, and a force shoots out and hits you. Ah, okay. Like an yep. amplified version of your own hits. So you'll take the same damage you dealt, but you feel like that could have been much worse, and you are not sent flying backwards. So it still halved? So you, you would it would have dealt double the damage you dealt to it. And it just fired that back at you. But you halved it because you're raging. Oh uh, fuck. You, you definitely got so this a, what you, is the what did the success give me, first of all? Okay, the success the success means uh, you don't take double. Yeah, flat. You, you don't take double flat damage. You take uh, so, only what you dealt. Which, which then though, with the rage, you're though, right. no, I no, do you, believe you, everything but psychic you, you get, splits again. Okay, you should get half then. So half the damage okay. you dealt, you take. Okay, this is sustainable. I can do this. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's okay. Making sure we get this because it did double what you dealt, so you save, Correct. so you take half, and then you have that. So yes, you're not you're which not still quartering is a you're, lot though. <laughs> yeah, you, you got his attention with uh what is probably a quarter of the rest of your party's health in one smack of ruse. Uh, Lord mercy, okay. And you did so, not yeah, you did 20. not get pushed back ten feet. Like you feel like okay. it was going to slide you, but you dig your powerful bear toes in. And, bear claws, bitch. But you got the toes too, but then you got the claws. But the toes have claws too. That's what I'm saying. It's the, the toes have the claws, but you also got the big old bear toes. Like, I'm assuming they're bigger than your normal toes. Now I'm thinking of just orangutan feet, and that's not what bears have, but now I kind of want that the bee peregrine has a prehensile thumb on their foot. <laughs> oh, jeez. Peregrine just picks up another axe with her foot. 
All right, so that's uh, if that's the end of your turn, that was his uh, first legendary action. This is now Mulak. All right, he'll pull out his sword, which will start playing a song that goes like, it's called, uh, he's going to write it just now. It's called Steel for Humans. Um, And then he'll he'll say, hey, Arvax, Arvax. What? Hey, remember, do the stabby, the stabby part. And as as he points the sword towards her, he'll use a three. Yes. Uh, I don't know how our new person fights yet, so I'm gonna hold off on that. He'll use I mean, he's four... also a cube currently. <laughs> he is currently jelly. He is currently jelly. I'm gonna use three sorcery points to. Uh... I'm going to use four sorcery points. Oh, boy. Bender. To subtle and twin a third level spell. And I'm going to haste <laughs> on, onto the two ladies. Dope. Time to put the stopwatch on people. And then I'm gonna go. Can I? Yeah, I'm gonna stand behind Dreyfus back here. <laughs> Do you you scooch on your broom? Yeah. Oh, how? Yeah, actually, how how high is the ceiling in here? You could probably get over Dreyfus while ducking down a little bit on the broom to get back in the hallway. Yeah, and I'll land on my feet so that I'm not just hovering in the air. No Mulak skeet shooting. No. Gestalt, you are cube. Give me uh give me another charisma saves. I'm not good at these. Yeah, that's decent at least. No, I don't think it's good. No, you you're you're still jelly. But but, but your boys. Your boys. So seeing Okay, so they're intrinsically linked to me, so even though they act independently, they understand that, you know, I might be in danger. So first, my Steel Defender, uh, Kolodets, yep. is going to... Ooh, boy. Hold on, uh, <laughs> give me give me a deck save for him as he steps on this narrow part between the two pools. Of course, I can do that. Uh, uh, barely, barely makes it before it starts, like, it, it collapses behind him, like, just, so now there is, let me, uh, keep moving him where you were gonna move him, I gotta draw on Uh, now. can I move past Peregrine? You can move through a friendly. Okay, he's gonna move right there, and he's going to use his force-powered rend. No! The pseudopod misses. Like, you see a pseudopod jump out that has, like, all the spikes and, like, just gnarly shit in it, but I guess the, uh... The, 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 tech, the, the tetanus punch. Why is but this it, running out in front of me? Uh, he kind of collapsed and made that all turn into mush, and now the two pools are joined. It, it's a heavy boy that just moved through there. So is it water or is it difficult terrain? It would be considered difficult terrain that is scalding hot water mud. Well, oh, damn it. Uh, and for my uh my boy Aspic, he saw uh Arvix get hurt. Like that's the main thing he saw. So he's going to go over here and jump on her back. Oh no, you're getting chow sued, Emily. You're getting chow sued. So now you just have a tiny homunculus on your back, Arvax. Ah. And it looks like a miniature version of you. Except it has like a little gelatin top hat. Yeah. 
I didn't make it have the That's top adorable. hat. It, it, it's kind of it kind of has a mind of its own. And like the steel defender, the steel defender is pretty much mindless, but the homunculus well, has like a personality. He has great does style. It, does it have access into the memories of the people you've eaten too? So he like at one point saw somebody with a top hat and was like, "Yes, that's my aesthetic." I'm scared to ask. You know what? Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. Because now that gives the DM so much more fun, and this thing's gonna have a knife soon. I've already had two existential crises. I don't need another. This I'm only technically three years old. Just the little homunculus pulls out a knife. Not just in the party anymore. Do we still have the the gorple mirror? The what? The, the oh, mirror we probably do. Uh, y'all still? I thought do? the mirror broke. No, y'all still have a mirror because it was just a silver mirror. Oh, that's no, my mirror. The, that was the my mirror. The, yeah. uh, the lantern broke. Yeah, the lantern broke. Oh, it was the lantern. That's yeah, what it yeah, was. Yeah. yeah. So y'all got the mirror because it wouldn't eat through that. Yeah, that's my mirror, because I use that for a magic trick. All right. Uh, Gestalt, that's everything. So, um, uh, Arvax, what, what, you, what you do? Okay, I was annoyed about that, but I don't have to be, because my speed is double, so. Got the zoomies. I, I imagine it's like, shoo, go around, so I'll be like, all right, hang on, little guy, and I'm going to zoom around here, so blank, I'm blank, blanking. Blank, 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 blank. You, you just hear all of a sudden. Ah! Hold on, I gotta, so, I gotta put him back to to his. What am I? <laughs> you gotta put him back to his small size. That's like so strong he displaced the big bad. No, he just somehow got bumped into that square when I tried to move him. I made him back to his normal token <laughs> size. You, she moves so fast that when you stopped, he kind of like extended <laughs> out. He just shot <laughs> like up. Got, like, got stretched really big. Oh god, he's a stretch arm. He's like he, he's like, like a an fucking animal, like, kite. <laughs> he just kind of like blows up like a bubble. It's like almost instant transmission fast, like, bzz, 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 and he's just like. Ah! <laughs> but I'm gonna zoom in and stop behind him, and as a bonus action, I am going to squeeze my fist, and I'm going to use channel divinity to call, use uh, vow. Enmity. So he's within ten feet of me, and he is. I'm going to have advantage on attack rolls against him for one minute, or until uh, he falls unconscious. So even if I'm not flanking anyone, I still get advantage. And as just like a an in character flavor thing, when you run up, you you lock eyes with Peregrine on either side of him since you kind of came up behind him, and you see this just like maniacal grin on her face of like utter bloodlust and murder that you haven't seen in forever but you can tell she is like having a fucking blast and is so stoked that you two get to both wail on him right now and, and Mulan like, her, fucking <laughs> do it I'm our gonna... returns the same grin and all everyone else is probably like oh fuck in the background you just hear mm. Arvex doesn't have pointed teeth, but she might as well with the smile she's given back to Peregrine. The, the and then we just have a soothing, we have a soothing white noise machine next to us trying to calm us down with its soothing brown noise. <laughs> no, it's just more disturbing because it's just like, it's a busted freezer going off into the side as y'all try to go sick house on this boy. And, and, and because it's in battle form, it just, it makes it sound like Arvex is growling. So now it sounds like both of the girls are growling. And I'm I'm just gonna holler out. Yeah, you should probably know. Uh, girl time for this group is not what you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> he just many women are yeah. great. War many women are great warriors. Why would you? Why would I? As he's getting stabbed, why would I assume they wouldn't be able to do it? Yeah, but ours really, really fucking like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm well. I am well aware this first one hit me really hard. Well, well, that. Uh, oh wait, our vex, our vex hasn't gone yet. Never mind. No, not, My not, hits are harder than your dick. He just. <laughs> Perry, per, per, not yet, Perry. Wait, you, you, we're not done yet. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Uh, I had to go back and clip channeling that Channeling a little, I think I'm channeling a little <laughs> bit of Coco here. I, I think I am, I'm sorry. I'm, wrong character, wrong character. 
I'm a cube. <laughs> Just he looks. I, I yes, you're you are very correct because uh, I have to take a blue pill for that. Oh no! I think I spit all over my computer. Oh my god! No, no nothing. Nothing I just said actually comes out of this guy's mouth. He's. <laughs> oh, I, I what came out of Malar? <laughs> Pretty sure it came out of Malarn's mouth. Did. Oh, okay. Uh, I get, I can do three attacks. Yay! And I have um, advantage on all of them. Oh, Does Arvax uh that fight us? <laughs> Arvax, like, we're about to learn a thing, though, and we'll have to see how this ends up working out. Yeah, but I'm going to see if a smite works. Okay, yeah, 27 hits with 9 damage. And... That's for smite. Okay. I got spell slot go away. Bam! Uh, so 20, 22 hits, so that's 14 damage, because the one is the additional from the crit. Wait, no, you have, you have advantage. Man, that, that, that kind of sucks that the crit got a one. Ye. Uh, did the smite... Gonna damage? That's fine. Did the smite seem to do anything, or not do anything? Oh, it, it hurt the hell out of him. Okay. I'm pumping a second smite into that one, too. Okay, you're dumping another smite into this? As good as the last one. Alright, and then I'm, I'm probably gonna save the smite, but I'm gonna try- I'm gonna whack him again! Shit! <laughs> Hold on, you got, a, you got a nat 20 on that, so I double that damage on the dice. For that crit. Did you on the first crit? Uh, the first, yeah. Well, I'm just saying on the first crit, you only critted once on a smite. So. Crit, yeah, the second one. I, yeah, are, I smited the dumping, first two. Are, are you dumping a smite into this third, this third one that is a, is a uh, net 20? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I use a different spell slot for that one. I'm gonna use a second level spell slot for that one. Okay, so that's another 32 damage. <laughs> Do it! I'm a cute blur 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 Using that second Woo! second legendary action i need a con save arvax oh I'll fucker i need somebody to help me with a calculator hold up i got mine up what is it all the what damage kind of save? all it's a con save all the all the damage that arvax just did no! okay. it's 30. i'm gonna need you to tell me which ones are doubled though so 14 no it's it's plus... nine so 19 are you gonna? Are you serious? Oh, this time I make every hit. And then it's you got fifteen to the nineteen. Four, so fourteen twenty eight. No, fourteen eighteen twenty one. Yeah, and you might want to check your DMs because I sent you something eight, relevant to this. Of uh, we're about to learn something on this turn that will probably dictate what we do on the following turn. Thirty three, thirty six. Okay, is that so? That's from those first two normal hits. Yeah. Okay, then it's twelve from the first smite. Thirty six would be forty eight plus fifteen. Eight would be sixty three. Okay. Yep. Plus thirty two. 95. 9, 95. What? So, give me that. No. Give me that con save. Plus three. Plus three. Don't forget your three. You're, you're screaming so much. Your Discord's like, no, we're not going to transmit this at all. I'm not good at con saves. I'm not proficient in them. I believe in uh. you. I don't. 
no. Okay, uh, so... Do what? I want to do a mulligan? Because it's 16. 16. Yeah, plus 3. Okay, so the plus 3 is what saves you from insta-death right here. <laughs> It, this, oh, yeah. the, six, the 16 is what saves you from insta-death because you would have just exploded. So you take the exact same amount of damage you just dealt with him. Wait. And this How is a legendary is, action he's it's doing. It's not like yeah. half or anything? You, you were supposed to do a con save. So you passed it so you're not taking double that damage. The oh. con halves the double because it's a double. So I take how much? The same amount that you just dealt 95. with 95. I had 94 HP. Arbex, <gasps> Arbex goes down. Just oh, as a note. Fuck. Just as a note. Uh, after he chill touched me. Does my, does Aspic take any damage? Oh, he's on my back, so probably not. No, because she did. She succeeded, so he doesn't get thrown back. And question: So he's reflecting directly back at the person who deals the damage. It's not like a radius thing he's doing. No, which it's is not, why it didn't hit aspect, right? Aspect, it, did, right? it didn't hit aspect. It didn't hit you. It didn't hit uh, Colo. Okay, that's good to know at least. Um, you just watch Arvax okay. hit him. He l staggers forward, definitely hurt, looking. Uh, Looking very worse for wear, but you watch Arvax just get smacked and drop. So it, she literally got hit with like a force wave and then hit the ground. Yeah. Is basically what we saw. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. So, okay. so that, fuck. does that damage like cause a, a concentration check or anything? Uh... Arvax wasn't concentrating on anything. I'm he was. Uh, oh, well, hold on. Let me double check this spell. Thank you for mentioning that, Chris. I mean, I did hit him. Well, he also got smacked by the Peregrine, so I got to double check this spell. Nope. Nope. No. It's not concentration. Uh -oh. It's con it's suggestion. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So you get to make a save on your turn. You should. I'm, I'm make a save on your turn. I'm giving him a save on the turn because I think that suggestion Wait. is slightly OP. Does taking damage break suggestion though? Is that one of the ones that breaks suggestion? Let me double check. Because uh, I, I know with several of those break it. I was about to just smack uh, the or the. That's what I was gonna say. I have a javelin. I'll throw it at him right quick. <laughs> I was gonna do it to. anyway on my next oh. turn. So. It is a concentration oh, spell. It if it's no, it is. I missed that. Let me roll. It might be broken by this. Man, you, unless he can roll a forty something. Yeah, that's going to probably not happen, so I think the concentration is about to be broke. Yeah, he doesn't do it. I hope he can't I mean, roll it, a 40. You a... rolled a 1d12. I will say that. You rolled a 1d12. Oh. It's an easy It's an easy thing to forget, honestly. Yeah, it's a, it's a 21. So, so did the damage I do, did he like throw it back at me and not be hurting him anymore, or did I still hurt him? Oh, no, you hurt him. Oh, he took oh it. it. Oh no, you hurt it's... the you hurt the shit out of him. It's just something reflected it back at you. Yeah, he's got he's got Black Panther's armor, essentially. He's got some of that non Newtonian yeah, fluid. Basically, you take kinetic force right back. And so... that's what we needed to know, which I'm glad I now know because now me hitting him does not mean you're at risk because it's not reflecting what I hit him for back on you, or else we were gonna have to switch into battle tactics here. Okay. Oh my God, I regret almost my. I don't. That was fucking dope. You just yeah. Like... <laughs> you at least you, you, you went down. You went out cool with a bang. Fuck. You went. The, the, you went down, the, taking the out half. You went, you went. You took out like half his HP. <laughs> I went sick house, man. The best part is, watch that happen. 
to Peregrine and I was like, I, I'm not okay, sure. And then you fucking destroyed him and yourself. Yeah. She went sick house on yeah. two individuals. So we have a new gonna... le- we have a new lesson for our next uh, thing, and that's to don't hit yourself with your sword when you're hitting. I <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry, um. I mean, no, you're you, not. Fuck you. you All I of mean, you. You swung your sword. You, you did it well. It, very well. And then you and then you passed and then you passed out. I so hate you guys so there's fucking only, much. Like one plus one equals two, Arvax. We're we're gonna have to teach you uh self control and your exertion levels. Mularn. <laughs> so that we don't sit here and y'all get my wife so mad that I'm in trouble. <laughs> Uh, I blarg. Um, info. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. He's twenty away. Let's let's party. Let's party. Uh. Okay, hold on. Is okay now. I'm thinking of Tasha's whip. Which this is, is ego whip. This yeah. is. I, I get the two confused because there's there's Tasha's whip. There's another version of that that's a bonus action that's under Arth Arcana. They got replaced by Tasha's whip, and then there's uh, ego whip. Not gonna lie, when you said Tasha's whip, I was picturing like a really slick car, and <laughs> was like, that's a thing you can have. I was thinking of like a dominatrix, but I was too. We have okay. That that is TV in a nutshell, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like like I like Ivy from a uh, Soul Caliber. I was like, oh, I need to shut my mouth. <laughs> At the end of each turn, it can make an intelligence savings throw. On a success, the spell ends. Okay, so basically we have disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, saving throws, and can't cast spells if it fails, right? Correct. Alrighty, boy. Yeah, that's going to be a legendary resistance spent. Thanks, Kyle. You're welcome. Hey, uh, Dreyfus, I demand you get your magic back and go fix your girlfriend. Uh. Uh. uh, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, do I have anything that works? It's a bonus action. You summon a chicken, Eddie. I mean, no, that's not that, a. That, that, that's, that's not a, a. That's an action. That's, that's a full action. Oh, uh, I don't think I have. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a damn. Oh, and that's a touch. Well, okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done at, yeah, I only got one bonus action and I got a touch to do it. How long is it? How big is that? It is... 15 foot. Too close for us. Okay. I'm good for the moment. Alright. Uh, as a bonus action, Dreyfus is going to just knock the broom slightly to hit Mulak slightly in the crotch as he picks up his sword. Just enough, not to hurt, but to, uh, to get a point across of, like, you're being an asshole. He is going to get over there, and he is going to... Is it 
What's on his character sheet? I have not looked at this character sheet. Is it? He has that ability where if he points at an asshole wearing church robes, they immediately die. No, but did y'all give him a potion? Because there's a potion on his character sheet. Yeah. I think we probably did. Yeah, we've given him... Hey, I can do... Uh... It doesn't matter right now, actually. I'll shut up. He is going to give this to Arvax. Oh, damn. So that is max healing on a basic little potion. Yeah, I gave him that potion, actually. Then you can tell Arvax that you saved her, like, secondhand through Dreyfus. Uh, I mean, we're trying, to set, we're trying to set Arvax and Dreyfus up. We're not going to steal his thunder, man. I hit him. I didn't hit him hard enough. <laughs> And just he shoots out for a second and comes back to his normal form. Is your brain working again? I was talking to Dreyfus. Yeah, I was Dreyfus. <laughs> uh, at the end of the round, he is going to use his last legendary action. To poof. Is he casting? Is he, is he, he, is he, he dimension dooring again? Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he he's go? not dimension dooring. He's using a legendary. Oh, he's blinded. To, to, I see gonna, him. If you're going to counter spell, counter spell. Do it. Counter spell. Yeah. You will respond to a counter spell with a counter spell. Fuck it. Counter spell again. Someone counter spells. Counter spell. I can't. I have already used Someone else action. counter spell. Block. I, I don't have counter spell. I don't Look. have that. Tarl just pulls out a gun and shoots, yelling counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Tarl god. Gage counter spell. Method, baby. <laughs> I gotta I gotta give y'all a gun now that just has counter spell engraved on the barrel. <laughs> that seems like something Hiram would make, right? <laughs> Hiram would Hiram probably would have made that. Tarl, it's your go. Uh, there's been a lot of booms and bangs. This bitch is not getting away. I think we're about to see a guiding bolt. Where is he? Uh, north, 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 where the doppelganger went the you first time. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. I mean, you could. Oh shit, flame strike. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, the other Frostborn favorite fucking move. The, the, the signature family spell. Okay, so just lighting up that hallway is what I'm assuming you're doing. Ten foot diameter column, 40 feet high, directly down from the sky to his head. Is Dreyfus in that radius? No. Okay. There's a 20 on the deck save. It's half as much if they succeed, right? Yeah. Damn, that's still a good bit of damage, though. Yeah, that that's still a solid... Solid chunk of damage. That's that is still a Hiram level, Hiram amount of damage. Yeah, yeah, that is that is twenty nine. That's twenty nine damage. Okay. Is that it, Tarl? That's it. All right. He takes off down this hallway full speed. 
Oh, Perry, we're going to be using all the haste. You don't have haste yeah. anymore. Oh, fuck. Yes, she does. I didn't go unconscious. I think, doesn't it when the target goes unconscious, they lose it? No, oh. it's when I go unconscious. Yeah, it's, oh. when, it, it's when the person <laughs> casting goes oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. That is. So hard. I was passed out extra fast. Should have made you do double the death saves. I didn't have to do any death saves because Drive and Save my ass. Live twice as hard, die twice as hard. <laughs> no, y'all, y'all, y'all are correct. I have been I have been using this spell wrong for years now because I figured whenever my character that had haste on them went unconscious, they no longer had haste because they were unconscious. Nope, you wake up going burr. So she just, just died being super fast. She just got knocked out. So there you go. Live fast, die hard. So I'm assuming I know we ran out. We ran out of map space. It, does he have thirty foot of for feet of movement, and he dashed? Uh, as far as you could tell, that's what he did from the extent of your dark vision. Okay, I, out of character, if that's the case, Peregrine has enough speed to catch up with him exactly. If that's what he did, okay, you based run, on the uh, amount of so movement no, I'm that just saying, he's away. So, so you're just running. With she your... is currently using her hasted just movement to pursue. As you do that, you do not see him as you are haste moving <clears throat> down this hallway. She is going to use that entire full movement. You keep going down this hallway until it opens up to a chamber. You still don't see him. He could also dash as an extra action. But... He literally could not have gotten away on his turn if he dashed on his turn. The math doesn't work out for that. But I will use my hasted action to dash to just fucking continue. Okay, as you run, like I said, you run into a larger chamber further on, you still do not see him. DM, why would you do this to me? (laughs) Because Why why would you do this? Because the bad guy knows what he's doing. Now that he has been smacked really hard twice, he now has figured out he needs to know what he's doing. He walked in, yeah, and very quickly, nah. This this bitches hit too hard. Uh uh uh. We're gonna we're gonna finish through. It's about to be eleven, so we're gonna finish through this round of combat, and that's where we'll end. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just double checking what I what I got on me real quick. Um, You're just th- there. There is Roadrunner flames from where Perry ran, and there was no other uh, open chamber. Yes, no other egress exit. Not that you uh, saw balcony. Anything? Okay. Mulak. Hold up! Hang on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Just in anger. She's uh, because she didn't also take damage and she didn't get to attack. She's going to go ahead and free action, just drop the rage. And as she does, she's just because she's pissed. If there's a wall near, she's going to lean over and slam her fist against the wall and just cast a uh, earth tremor, which just break breaks it up essentially. And if for some reason she was lucky enough that he was there, then they would do a thing, but no, probably not. It, it didn't do anything. It's just to angry. Him. You just you just smack. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong thing. I meant to hit Earth. Earth Tremor, that one. But yeah. All right, Moloch. But everybody else hears a giant rumble coming from down the hallway and, like, a very angry roar. I'll walk up to uh, our little uh, Glorpal friend here. And I'll say, hey, you want to you know, see something kind of cool? Wobble, wobble, wobble. Nice. Do, do, do you want to say something kind of cool? Do I say something kind of cool, or do you? No, I'm asking, do you want to see something kind of cool? I'm still a puddle. Or a cube. Oh. I thought you had woken up. The best thing is, when he, he Nox did. said he, the he, wobble, he I would... He did. I was listening of... to a song that actually did a wub wub like dubstep thing right after Knox said the wobble wobble. <laughs> right. So the, in my head, uh, 
Gestalt speaks in dubstep. What is you is your puddle you? I'm like, yeah, I want to see something cool. But it's still like it's 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 your body, right? Like that's Yeah, it's still my body. You see all my equipment and everything and you see like what looks to be like a red sort of gelatin starting to reform. Aww. Like, your shit's just laying on the ground, or is it, like, in the puddle? It's all in the puddle. I'm I'm just gonna take a risk. I'm gonna touch you. Oh, and boy. Then... Consent. And... And then Dimension Door 400 feet the way that he went. I'm cool with that. Okay. Okay. Um, I gotta do something real quick. I gotta go read something. Oh, thank you for putting it up there. Is it 200 feet straight downward? No, no, oh, no, no, no. I'm, re I'm trying to read it. Visualize or starting distance. It's at a 500 feet. I can go 500 feet. So it's just 200 feet straight. Okay, that's downward is 200. At an angle, it's 300. Just straight, go flat, just straight flat is 500 feet. Yeah, I'm going to go 500 feet. Okay, so you're saying a full 500 feet that way. I think it means like a full 500 feet over yeah, here. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I'm just thinking about how far did Perry run? She she moved her 60 feet. And then 80. 80 feet. 80 feet, because that's 40 feet barbarian times two, because haste. And then there is, uh, what was it? You You then dashed. Then he dashed, so as that's a, 100... as, a, as a bonus action, dash. It was 160 total, yeah. Okay. And then just pick the nearest wall and slam into it. Okay. Okay, if you arrive at a place already occupied by an object or a creature, you and any creature traveling with you each take 4d6 force damage and spell fails to teleport you. As the DM, do you want to take the full 500 feet? I usually know about how far Peregrine can run, right? Give me an intelligence. Th then the answer is going to be no. <laughs> Ten. Eh, close enough, I guess. Yeah, yeah, maybe she maybe could have gotten that far. I'm gonna say 200 then. Okay, much better. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't have to do force damage to the two of you. Eh, it was just we wouldn't go anywhere. No, you wouldn't. And I'd go. Be like, <laughs> and I would have been like, cool, right? <laughs> and and y'all both take 4d6 force damage because you would have been. He would have been like, mountain. I'm leaving the party. <laughs> hey kid you want to see something cool both of you have nosebleeds including the thing that doesn't have a nose Gestalt I just I just like explode into gelatin Gestalt, <laughs> you uh, guys want to see a dead body well, you're spits, on a, spits on a mini marshmallow out of nowhere oh my god so um y'all are in a giant empty chamber where Peregrine has just punched a Peregrine sized fist hole in the wall and the next five feet around it kind of crumbled. I look around. Or is it my turn? I'm sorry. Yes. I'll, it, it, I'll, uh, I'll it, look it, at him and say, by the way, that's the first time I've ever done that. 
Also, sniff some push-up glasses. It was a ten-foot radius around my fist. Thank you very much. Um, actually, it's um, ten- actually, <laughs> it is ten feet. Uh, uh geek emoji, <laughs> geek emoji glasses. <laughs> I, I have been, I have been owned. I will never survive this embarrassment. All right. So but she, I, I'm going to run until I feel I'm within 120 feet of my homunculus. Okay, so you're gonna be running a good. You're gonna be running a little bit back. Yeah. Okay. But oh, then I mess you up. And, Sorry. I know. Like I'm just like sitting there. Like oh shit! Wait, I need to do something. And I just run back and uh. As you, as I get within 120 feet of my homunculus, you see the the two pseudopods of his arms come together, and you see these like little clockwork things start to like move around in like this uh, kind of mess of his pseudopods, and then a bright light shines, and then a bright light shines in. Uh, our, our boy Aspic here and cast Cure Wounds at level 3 on uh, Arvax. Oh, just like Arvax. <laughs> Emily Emily's spoke so high-pitched that it didn't get picked up. Thank you. I was trying to... Holy crap! He really had a hold on us on that one. Or at least on me. I am very sorry. I usually have more going on. Oh, jeez. I am so very sorry, y'all. I just feel like there's two pseudopods on the hips. Just golly, guys. Yeah, yeah. I have actually, like, two extra uh, pseudopods, like, moving around. Because I haven't, like, fully uh, formed myself back we're gonna end up loving this character so much so i look back at mulak we already do i'm very sorry i i could have done more but uh that that spell he did it really hurt it didn't hurt me like physically but you know emotionally and uh the ego as long as both your brains work again arvax you're not near him He's 120 feet away using his link to his homunculi. Oh. You just, the little oh, homun- so all of a sudden, the, the, he glowed it. I was like, what? What the fuck? The, the Thank little, you. The little homunculi blip, blip, blip with them on your forehead. <laughs> uh, what's then it doing? Eventually, it just starts going pop, 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 pop to do the healing to you. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. it, 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 it stings a bit, but it also feels a lot better. You're like, oh wow, my muscles gets gets an. I, think elbow, I have a gets, suction cup mark on my forehead. Gets a little like gets a little bitty jelly elbow right there at the you know in the shoulder. Starts working that spot between the shoulder and the neck. Jelly acupuncture. <laughs> Jelage, jelly massage. All right. Uh, is there anything else, Gestalt? That's all me. Uh, Arvax. All right. Ugh, stand up. So he fucked off. Um, I, that got me up good, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of smack my chest, and I'm gonna give myself thirty five more with what I have for lay on hands. No one else better need this later. Pump. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Where did he... We don't know where the fuck he went, dude. Our problems just got exponentially worse. Fuck. Well, they went that way, but earlier he... One of him went out that way and came out this way. Should we, like, try and cut him off going the other way? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, he he must have come some way out of here. You're not there. Uh-oh. Y'all are in two different places. I misunderstood. 
Uh, hold on. Let me do this to make sure that all the people that are currently not in this room, including the bad guy, are on this side of the room. Mm. All the other people. I'm gonna move you. Over I got. I got. I got the. I got the dwarf. The other brother. <laughs> I got Dreyfus, and I got the constructs here. Yeah. So, you got best. You you have best brother. Uh, David. The last name you don't like. Uh, and uh, the constructs and. I mean, to be fair, if that were to be your last name, you wouldn't like it either. I mean. Can we go down the other tunnel and see if we can head them off or something? Far boys, far boys. Okay. Far boys. For a second, I thought someone was writing "fart" on the screen. Should we okay. follow them? Should we wait? What should we do? What are you doing, Arvax? Tell me. I'm trying to get someone to answer me. That's what I'm trying to do. You got Tarl and Smart Brother. Smart oh. Brother. Should we go get down the other hallway? Yeah. yeah, as far as you know, the two me and me and Glorpals Jr. here just disappeared. I don't know where the fuck your brother went or he took the cube. How far <laughs> fart boys. Smart boys. <laughs> how far how far does the tel do the tele the telestones work? I don't think you'll ever stay at a distance. I'm gonna assume the regular distance. Uh, distance. No, I have them written down as sixty feet. Okay. Like, I, like, like I, I can't be unasked the uh, the area. I don't think he's coming back. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. But if I was not, but I'm wondering man, if we I should come back. I, I mean, I doubt he's coming back. But should we follow where uh, Peregrine went, or should we go around the other way? Because there's something funky going on here. Let's let's go the uh, let's let's. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, we could post up on the other tunnel in case he pops out from there. Well, I doubt he's going to swing all the way back around. I'm just thinking if there's some kind of big curve, we could eventually catch him as he's trying to get away some other direction. I don't know. I don't know what it's like in there. Okay, so real quick, smart boys, what are y'all doing? What is uh named our group? Uh, the, the, the correct people did. Um, let's go down this other hallway. I'm gonna look over at uh, Aspic. Is that him with the fart boys? <laughs> I had him because he's not in the same room as y'all. <laughs> the oh, no, they started. They started. A, they started a rival street gang. Um, Wait, I'm, sorry, smart boys now. I'm sorry. Before someone made the smiley face, it was like smart boys too. <laughs> and I'm like, you, you start hearing the what? the snapping of the fingers. <laughs> yeah, okay, I just typed. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. What were you saying, Malar? Uh, let's go. Let's start making. Let's make our way down the tunnel he came out of. Uh, I'm gonna look at Aspic and tell him to go down to have Aspic go down the other tunnel and go find. Maybe Gestalt. we should keep the maybe we should keep the little one. He can apparently heal things. Yeah. Uh, Aspic is gonna listen. Tell them where we're, uh, show them where we went. Okay, so we're going to oh, do this. Intensify. I say, for all intents and purposes, uh, if one group is now heading this way, y'all are effectively out of combat. Uh, so, Peregrine, we're going to do one thing for each group. Peregrine, you smack the wall in this five, then ten foot radius as it, mm. as it goes out in force. Jojo uh, breaks and starts to give way, and you feel cold air coming out from behind it. Oh, like old, stinky, old, cold air. Uh, this is oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Mulak and Gestalt, 
you can smell this old air too. Like Peregrine just smacked the wall and all of a sudden there's something kind of old and musty. So it's like an opening? Uh, it looks like if you cleared some stone away, there'd be an opening. It's okay, y'all. I think I, I, I can help with this. Oh, good. I turn into a cube and then go through the opening. Yeah, because you can do it as long as it's one inch. Peregrine's going to start waving her hands from... This is like stone slash rock slash dirt, right? Yeah. yeah. She's, uh, she's going to just start kind of swiping her hands left, right, left, right, using uh, mold earth to displace in like a humanoid size gap. To fit when between. I get on the other side, I am like completely naked. So I, I look at them and it's like, <laughs> I don't nice. have any of my things, but I can, what, I, I can be a lookout. But would you like your things? Are your things just on the ground on this side? Yes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will pick up your things and continue to work through here if you would like to scout them, and I will bring them once the hole is large enough for us to pass through. It, it won't I take just... you. It won't take you long. I want the three of you as you get into this. You're on the an upper ledge into a a half. Uh, it looks like this probably would have been a hall of the Tig, but it is collapsed and dropped from probably where it originally was. It's at an angle. But with all of your dark vision, you can see something on the far side that almost looks like a petrified tree. Oh. That seems a bit far down. And give me a perception check, the three of you. We made the wrong choice. <laughs> okay, Malak, you'll notice this. Peregrine, you'll notice this. Gestalt, you're getting your stuff back on. A little distracted. Were uh, his eyes part of the stuff he left behind? <laughs> no. They're squishy. Um, the two of you notice that it's not just what... It's a petrified tree, but it looks like there's someone hanging upside down. Someone or something hanging upside down on it. I'm gonna kill him. I'll, I'll chop down that fucking tree if I have to. I'm gonna kill him. It looks like someone hanging upside... Someone or something hanging upside down. Back to the smart boys. Oh. Y'all make it further down this tunnel and find a small section of uncollapsed uh, rooms that have food in them. Uh, it also looks like a makeshift, like a, a pop-up desk and a bedroll. Uh, very, very fluffy, large, bougie bedroll. One? I'm, I'm going to steal the fluff up, the fluffy, bougie bedroll. You're now, um. you're now, in, you're in, now in possession of one theocracy thermal sleeping bag. And it's just a setup for one person. And I'm gonna start shoving food in my bag of holding. Okay. All of it. You, you get. You'll get probably the equivalent of what was for seven people. Several months worth, or a lot of rations. I shouldn't say he he's gone through several because he's been here a while. Boo, bougie bedroll. The other thing you all notice. <laughs> is that there is, on this desk, a mirror that the second y'all got in seemed to be glowing, but it is now faded. Okay. Again, there's only one bedroll? Yeah. I'm confused. Didn't Gestalt say it looked like they, yeah, that there was a lot of footprints with him? That would have been with before the village. He was creating illusions. So, Eight. Okay, so here's the deal. Arvax, you find, 
and uh, we'll we'll look we'll figure out what you found book wise when we return after the holidays. You find what look like two journals, plus over near that small desk, there is a leather sack full of scrolls and a couple pigeons, well doves. Uh, Mularn, that faint glow you immediately know that mirror has just been used for something and that the magic is fading. Can I tell what it is? Uh, do you pick it up? Uh, Yes, uh, but I am going to angle it towards the ceiling. So okay. That it's not, it can't, it's not, so that nothing, nothing of, we are, none of us are in the reflection. Okay, as you look into it, you are looking into your father's study. And you see the cannon staring back at you as the image slowly fades. You're looking at that and realizing this had been used for some type of teleportation, teleportation or other type of way movement. Hmm. The only solace you take from this is this dude looked fucked up before he disappeared. Let's see. But that's where we're going to end because it's 1130. Yeah. All good. And we will pick back up uh, next week. We will not because it will be the day after Christmas. Let me pull up a calendar real quick. Uh, and then the day after that will be... That'll be the 2nd of... That'd be the second, right after New Year's. So if everyone else is good to play on the second, I'll be good. But if ever, other folks are traveling, we might have to take the next two weeks off because of the holidays. I'll I mean, be we're going to be home. Uh, to see, I'm not sure. Okay. So uh, the next game will be in January, everybody. Uh, as for, I will, I'll do the schedule and let my wife do the, uh, the, my lovely wife do all the socials. Um, the next, uh, other than Tears of Kairos happening Thursday, the next two weeks are probably going to be a little silent because uh, it'll be the holiday season and New Year. Uh, uh, I might stream something with my brother-in-law since they're they're going to be here, and sometime in there, there's going to be a brouhaha about testing uh, old cocktails to to see if they're actually any good or if they're terrible. <laughs> So, uh, that's about the only thing we got planned scheduling wise. Um, but also our, we, we've met our goal on, um, we've met our goal on, uh, extra life, extra life. uh, with, uh, someone giving us $250 Saturday, putting us <laughs> over our goal. Um, but we will still have it open until December 31st. Uh, any donations will go to the Children's Miracle Network, uh, specifically Batson's, a.k.a. Children's and Jackson. Uh, and if you can, please give the gift that it helps a family not worry about paying for a child's medical bills. Uh, we would greatly appreciate it, and we know they would too. And with that, I will turn it over to my wife for the socials. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Boom. We are, we are on Twitch and YouTube, and Facebook, and Instagram, at Team Bonus Action. We are at TeamBonusAction.com. We are on uh, the Twitter hellscape at at bonus underscore team. So you can uh, go to YouTube, check out everything we've done in the past. You can see when we're going to be going live on any of our other socials. And uh, so give us a watch, give us a like, 
give us a follow, and we'll see y'all next year. Well, that would be in the case. We hope y'all have a great holiday season and, and uh, a safe new year. And until next time, folks, don't let your meatloaf.